I'm gonna show you a way to share a link in the chat with an audience when you're running a webinar, a workshop, a training session on Zoom, and you want people to take action. Instead of just stopping what you're doing and typing the link or copying and pasting the link somewhere, you're just going to press a button on the Stream Deck and it will automatically send the link in the chat and will show a QR code on screen. And whenever you're done, you can press it again and the QR code will go away. And this is a great way to do it because you just literally press one button on the Stream Deck and the QR code appears on screen and the link is sent on the chat. So we're gonna start with OBS Studio. If you don't know OBS Studio, this is a software that allows you to do live production on Zoom. You can change cameras and control graphics that displays on screen and make a lot of fun stuff that turns your online session into an audience experience. This is the first screen that you see when you open up OBS and there is a specific way that I organize my OBS in collections that I highly recommend you doing. I promise this is gonna save you a ton of time and stress. You're gonna first create a scene called me, but you're gonna put a red dot emoji in front of it, which is a convention that we use to specify that this scene is meant to be used live. So I'm gonna call it me, and I'm going to use another scene that is gonna be called padlock emoji and camera one. So this scene has a padlock because the padlock indicates a scene that is used to configure other scenes. I'm gonna add my camera in here in this padlock scene, and I'm gonna add the padlock scene to the me scene. So this padlock scene is used to configure the missing and we can delete the first scene that we are not using. And now we have the missing and the camera scene. If we ever have to do a camera adjustment, we can just drag and drop and do whatever we want in the padlock camera one, and it will affect all other scenes that you're using this camera item. In that case, I'm gonna comment C because I don't want that. This is the base of our organization system for OBS. And we are gonna add one more scene that is gonna be the overlay scene. It's another scene to configure other scenes. And this is where we are gonna add our QR code and any overlay that we wanna use. So I'm also going to add the overlay scene right here on the me scene. So if you do that, now, whenever you add something, an image, a video, a graphic, anything to this scene, it's also going to appear on your main camera, which is also going to appear on Zoom because everything that we are doing here on OBS is something that is happening on Zoom. So if I come in here and I stop virtual camera, you're gonna see that on Zoom, you don't see anything. But if I come in here, start virtual camera and maybe change the size of the camera and I go to Zoom, you're gonna see that in Zoom, my camera is also changed because my camera is OBS virtual camera. So everything that we're doing here on OBS is going to be affecting Zoom. So let's create our care code. I usually use this website right here called QR Code Generator. It requires you to do a login, but you can also take a screenshot of the QR code and it will work and do the same thing without you having to do the login. So I'm gonna type the address that I want my QR code to send it to. It's gonna generate the QR code. You can click on download, it will request you to log in but again, if you are a little, a little bit more lazy, like I am, I'm just going to take a screenshot of this and I'm going to paste it into OBS by just drag and drop it into OBS. So now I drag and drop it into the me scene. That's not what I wanna do. I, I'm going to actually copy it, paste it into the overlay scene, and I'm gonna delete it from the me scene. So now I have this the care code on the overlay scene and note that it appears on my main scene as well. So what I wanna do is add an animation. So whenever I show this QR code by pressing the Stream Deck, it's lights down and it's lights up again. To do that, I'm going to just add a show transition slide up and a high transition slide down. So whenever I hide the image, it will slide down. Whenever I show the image, it will slide up. Now I will actually rename this to my QR code and I will create a Stream Deck button to control it. I can just type source and drag the OBS source visibility here. And I'm going to name it QR code and I'm going to select the scene overlay and I'm going to select the QR code. Now I have a Stream Deck button that I can just press to hide the QR code and I can just press it again to show the QR code. And if I'm actually on the me scene, look at that, I can control the QR code appearing on the me scene. So this is halfway done. We are showing the QR code that we want people to scan and take action if they are watching it. Look, I can even go to Zoom and this is on Zoom right now. I can change the position if I want of the QR code 
make it a little bit higher. Let's say right here, I go to the missing, I go to zoom and look at that. That's my care code appearing on Zoom for everyone that is watching live. So we are halfway there. We just need one last thing to send the link in the chat when we press the button to show the QR code, because people will be taking action from different places. They might prefer to scan the QR code on the screen or just clicking the link on the chat. So here's the chat. And what we want to do is type the link when we press the button. So let's bring up Stream Deck and we will search for text and drag a text button right here. Here, I'm going to type my link. Here is the link. And I'm going to check to press enter after the message is typed. So it is sent automatically. Now, if I come here to the chat and I press the text button, you're going to see that the link goes right away to the chat. Now, I want to show the QR code at the same time that I press that button. So here's what we are going to do. We are going to search for a button on the screen that I call switch. And this is a multi-action switch. We are going to copy the QR code and this is gonna make the care code visibility hide on action number one. On the action number two, we're gonna make the care code visibility show, and we're gonna copy the text, and we're gonna paste it on the number two at the same place where the care code is going to be visible. What this means? This means that the first time that this button is pressed, it's going to hide source. The second time, it's gonna show the source, and it's gonna send the text on the chat. So all you got to do whenever you want to share the link on the chat and on screen is press the chat button and then press the mode switch action button. And this is going to show the QR code on screen and it's going to send the link immediately. Another press, it's going to hide. So whenever you want to send the link again, you just press it again. It will send the link again. It will show the QR code again. And that's how you drive people to take action. And I'm going to tell you, this has been working fantastically during my Zoom sessions. Whenever I want people to take action by filling a form or going to a checkout page, I just show a QR code on screen at the same time that I send you the chat and a lot of people take action. Give it a try because this is gonna definitely boost up the engagement of your sessions and make you look way more professional. And if you want more tips on how to make your Zoom sessions more engaging and interactive, head over to this video right here and I will see you there.